in your exam paper you're gonna have a question that looks like uh, this now I'm not gonna guarantee you that you're gonna get that question but uh, I've seen it um, a few times so here you have a sector and um, the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to work at the area so when we're talking about the area we're talking about all the space inside that shape here okay so here we have a sector and we're gonna find the area for it the formula that you need to remember for the area of a sector is as follows so the area of a sector is equal to x over 360 times pi times r squared now um, what does the x and the r stand for well it's very easy if you look at your sector we know for a fact that a sector is basically parts of a circle isn't it if you have a circle and you draw part of the circle you just take this part out, out of it it's basically a sector now so this is the sector and I've just taken it out and it's right here alright now on a circle the distance from the middle to the circumference is called the radius so I can come here and label that the radius alright now if from here to here we have a radius then from the center to that side must be our the radius now we're gonna call this O just for uh, reference alright so we've, we've established that from here to here we have a radius from here to here we have a radius alright so what is that X um, equal to or what does that stand for well X is basically the angle inside your sector so if I just rub this off a little bit X is basically the angle here so this is what X is now most of the time in your exam paper um, they will give you how much this angle is so in this case I'm going to pretend that the angle um, is 60 degrees okay and I'm going to say that R is equal to 6 centimeters on both sides because the both radiuses all right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the formula and um, show you how I can work out the area of that particular sector so So we're going to start again. So the area is going to be x over 360 times pi times r squared. So this is the same thing as having 60 replace the x with 60 because x is equal to 60 over 360 times pi times r r is equal to 6 so I'm going to write 6 squared alright now when you're doing a fraction and you've got a 0 at the top and bottom uh, you can cancel that out because there are tens so I'm left with 6 over 36 now a lot of people don't know how to work out 6 over 36 now we know that 36 divided by 6 is equal to 6 so 6 over 36 which is the opposite from there must be 1 over 6 so going back here we can say uh, 6 divided by 36 is 1 out of 6 then I multiply this by pi and then I multiply this by 36 because 6 squared is equal to 36 6 squared means 6 times 6 which is equal to 36 
Okay, now we're going to tidy this up a little bit. I've got a sixth of pi times 36. Now in your exam, most of the time they will ask you to write the answer in terms of pi, so you're not going to change how much this pi is. We know pi is equal to 3.142, but we're going to leave it in terms of pi. All right, now the only thing we can do then is just simplify the numbers. So I'm going to work out what 1 sixth of 36 is, or in other words, what 36 divided by 6 is equal to. So 36 divided by 6 times pi, and 36 divided by 6 is equal to 6 pi. And there's my answer. Okay, so <clears throat> it wasn't too hard. Uh, all you have to do is substitute some numbers into your formula, and you need to know how to simplify your numbers a little bit. So you have to do a bit of work with the fractions here. And here we had to divide 36 by 6. Well, I hope that helps.